Good evening, children. It's Granny Macduff, ready with a story. So make yourselves comfy, and I'll begin. It was the last evening of the year, and it was so terribly cold. There was snow coming down, and darkness had just fallen. And in the midst of this cold and gloom, there was a little girl with no hat and no shoes, wandering the streets. Now, you see, when she left her house, she had had her slippers on. But what good were they? For they were far too big for her little feet. They belonged to her mother. The girl had lost them when running across the road out of the way of two huge carriages. One slipper she could not find at all, and a boy had run off with the other. And so the little girl walked on her bare feet, which were quite red and blue from cold. In an old, tattered apron, the girl carried several packages of matches, and in her hand she held a box of them. She was not able to sell one box all day, and no one had given her a cent. The poor girl carried on down the street, shivering with cold and hunger. Snowflakes fell on her hair and shoulders. In every window she passed, the lights were on, and it looked so very warm inside, and smelled of roast goose, for it was New Year's Eve. In a corner between two houses, she curled up, drawing her little feet underneath her. She was growing colder by the second, but she dared not go home, for she had not sold a single match. She had not earned a penny. Her parents would surely scold her. She knew they cared more for her sister than her. Besides, it was not as if home were any warmer, for her family barely had a roof over their head. It was cracked and broken and the wind would blow right through as they slept on beds of straw and rags. The poor little thing could barely feel her hands. And, oh, how might one little match warm her? If only she could take one out of the box, strike it against the brick, and warm her hands by the flame. She opened the box and drew out a match, just one. How bright it burned, and how warm it was. She held her hands over the match, which burned like a small candle. How wonderfully warm it was. She took her feet out to warm them too, but the flame went out, and as quickly as she had warmed, she was cold once more. She struck another match against the brick. It burned bright. She felt its warmth. And when the light fell upon the wall, it became transparent and the girl could see right through it and into the house. The fire roared. The table was set with a fine tablecloth. The goose was stuffed with figs and apples. The match went out. So she lit another. And this time, she was sitting under the most glorious Christmas tree. It was the biggest she'd ever seen, with hundreds of candles burning on the bright green branches. Then the match went out. And she lit another. This time, she looked up and could see all of the stars burning so brightly in the night sky. And suddenly, an old woman stood over her. Child, you must surely be frozen. I am, ma'am, the little girl croaked. And where are your shoes, you poor dear? Come with me. The little girl followed the woman into her house. And sure enough, inside there was a huge Christmas tree, a goose stuffed with apples and figs, and the warmest fire the girl thought she'd ever felt. That night she was fed, washed and clothed and put to sleep in the most wonderful bed she'd ever been in. And when she woke on the first morning of the new year, she'd found
found herself in a new life, with an old woman who became like a grandmother to her, who cared for her and loved her. But she always kept her matches, just to remind herself of how very cold she was on that last night of the year before everything changed. And she lived happily ever after. The end. And now it's time to take a deep breath, close our eyes, so that we may drift off into a world of our own adventure. Good night, children. <laughs> <laughs>